Hi everyone, we've just released a new version of Avid Media Composer. So guess what? It's time to take a look at what's new in Avid Media Composer 2023.8. Now for those of you that are transitioning to the new versions of Media Composer, but coming from a previous version several years ago, we have made it a lot easier to make the transition. When you go to settings, and go to create a new user profile, you will see that we have the ability to choose the current versions of Media Composer. We recently added transitioning from Adobe Premiere Pro. And in Media Composer 2023.8, we've added the ability to choose a preferred profile of Media Composer Classic. When you choose Media Composer Classic as your preferred setting, you will get a project panel, which builds in your effect palette and your settings. All of your bins will actually float by default when you open them. And of course, your composer window and your timeline window are floating by default as well. And I'm happy to tell you that the six buttons between your source and record monitor are also back. So easy access to splice in, overwrite, your source record mode, trim mode, and effect mode, and your quick button to your tool palette. Avid has a new release, AI, AI, O. If you are a fan of script sync and phrase find, you'll be happy to know that we have re-engineered these features around a new phrase find AI engine. That's right, script sync and phrase find have been upgraded to script sync AI and PhraseFind AI. With this release, we are including the updated ScriptSync AI and PhraseFind AI as a preview for anyone who upgrades to Avid Media Composer 2023.8. Editors still have the same functionality that ScriptSync and PhraseFind provided in previous versions, but it is now propelled to the next level. How you ask? Let me show you. I have several interviews that I need to transcribe and then sync the media to the transcription. Script Sync AI will save you hours, if not days, of time here. In your project, select your clip or clips that you need to transcribe. Then right click and select Create Script from Clip. Ooh. Or you can also map that option to a key. The result is a transcription of your clip set by the current script settings. You can always change them and rerun this feature if you have a different font or, or spacing that you'd like for your script. But not only does it transcribe the clip, but you also have the clip or take automatically marked where every sentence is spoken. Um, yeah, I use the isotope filters a lot uh, in Avid, and I also... What's even more exciting is that it senses the language and will create the transcription accordingly, even if the clip has mixed languages in it. This automated functionality of creating the transcription is not accessing the cloud, by the way. All processing is done local to your system, keeping your content totally secure. And if you use PhraseFind, we have enhanced functionality there as well with PhraseFind AI. Using the same AI engine, when you search for a word or phrase with PhraseFind AI, you will see a new column with the sentence where the word or phrase was said. That way you can easily see where it was actually used in the sentence and make a more direct decision if you want to access yeah, a specific piece helpful. of media or footage. Um, we do a lot of have you ever wished that you could select a range of clips in your bin that have in and out marks already set and create subclips with ease over all of them? Well, guess what's been added to Media Composer 2023.8? Select your clips, choose the batch create subclip function from the pull down menu, select from several options in the batch subclip tool menu, and voila. And by the way, batch create subclips can be added as a user setting to a keystroke if you would prefer that method to execute it. Creating sequence templates was added to a previous version of Media Composer, allowing you to lay out your video and audio tracks any way that you'd like and select a template to begin cutting your masterpiece. Media Composer 2023.8 provides a mechanism to apply a sequence template 
to an existing sequence, permitting you to add any tracks and track names to a current sequence without having to rebuild it from scratch. Customizing your UI and keyboard makes editing more streamlined and efficient. And there are already a slew of functions and tools that have keystrokes already set by default. If you're not aware what keyboard shortcuts are set to by a specific button, simply hover over any button and the keystroke will be exposed. And we've also added some audio related enhancements within Media Composer. The clip gain range has been extended from a maximum of 12 dB to 36 dB, which actually aligns to Media Composer with Pro Tools and assists users working with clips recorded at low audio levels. These new values are maintained when importing and exporting AAFs or using the latest option to export a Pro Tools session from Media Composer. Now you may notice that when you move the fader on an audio track, that it only lets you go up to 12 dB. To raise the level above that, you'll have to manually type in the value. Now this is by design so you don't blow out speakers or have it go too loud. And when you choose to have the value higher than 12 dB, it's displayed in yellow as an instant indication that the level is above 12. Now this can be set in the audio mixer or with the clip gain on in your Media Composer timeline. The new Pro Tools Session Export feature in Media Composer Ultimate and Media Composer Enterprise has revolutionized the way Media Composer and Pro Tools exchange sequences and content. And adding multi-mix functionality in earlier versions of Media Composer allowed editors to set up multiple audio mix presets when doing mixdowns. We have now combined these functions so you can select to create or use a multi-mix preset when you export your Pro Tools session from Media Composer. The peripheral menu located in the Hardware tab of the Audio Project settings now allows you to select a connected audio device that Media Composer will use for desktop audio and save with your project settings. If you have used Audio Punch-In with Media Composer in the past, you were limited to audio branded external I.O. devices that allowed you to record audio directly into Media Composer for voiceovers or commentaries. With Media Composer 2023.8, you can connect other USB audio devices for input and output when using other third party I.O. devices. Once you enable desktop audio from the hardware software setting on your timeline, you can choose from a wide range of connected audio devices, including those using USB. The new release of Avid Media Composer 2023.8 adds audio enhancements for clip gain and the Pro Tools session export, brings back a classic UI, incorporates some great AI technology with phrase find and script sync, provides more open workflows with the new panel SDK, and many other features. As always, We'll see you next time and thank you for your time and talent.